Have you ever wondered how many coconuts are in Coconut Mall? Or how about how many toads? Or how many cars in the parking lot? Today we'll be answering those questions and more. But before we get started, I wanted to clarify that when I say Coconut Mall, I'll be talking about the remake on the Switch, unless I specifically say that I'm talking about the Wii version. Another thing I wanted to talk about is that we're coming up on the one year anniversary of the population of Mario Kart series. It's on the 24th of September. We've come a long way since that first video on Athens Dash, and we still have a long way to go before we cover all the maps. But I wanted to thank you all for sticking around. To celebrate, I will be live streaming here on YouTube on the day itself. So make sure you mark your calendars for the 24th of September, and I'll see you there. All right, now for the reason you clicked on this video. There are 65 coconuts dangling from the 43 palm trees that can be found both inside and outside of the mall. Here's a hot take. I think the palm trees on the original Wii version actually look better than the ones on the Switch. They're much more full, lush, and cartoony, whereas the ones on the Switch go for a more realistic look which I'm not a big fan of. Four sailboats can be found in the ocean outside of the map, as well as a single cruise ship. I kind of wish that Nintendo put Daisy Cruisy here, like they do on Daisy Circuit, but instead they put this random one. Bit of a missed opportunity if you ask me. It would be a nice reference to another track similar to these three buses and three semi-trucks. They have decals from well-known in-game universe companies. The buses have Galaxy Air and Toad City Sightseeing on them, whereas the three semi-trucks have propeller toad transport on all of them. Coconut Mall must be near an airport due to all these, and I wouldn't be surprised if that airport is Sunshine Airport. Twelve regular cars can also be found in the parking lot, some of which are the surfboard cars from other maps, such as Toad Turnpike. Last of the vehicles, we have three news cars leading to a total of 26 vehicles and watercraft. Coincidentally, there are also 26 toads, three of which can be found filming from the news cars. Next up are Nokias, I mean Nokis. There are nine of them. 12 Piantas can also be found scattered around the track, as well as seven Shy Guys and five Yoshis. Last but not least, there are three seagulls gliding above the parking lot. But wait, there's more. A little over halfway through the track, you can find a food court. There are several odd things I noticed while analyzing this particular area. The first thing is the fact that there's a Mega Mushroom on the menu. I guess this was Nintendo's way of saying yes, we know that people like the Mega Mushroom, but no, we are not putting it into the game. Next is one that really bugs me for some reason. On a lot of the tracks in this game, you can find advertisements for a soda brand called Princess Orange. In Sweet Sweet Canyon, you can even find a whole ocean made of the stuff. And in the food court, you can find a banner hanging out in front of the deli counters that advertises Princess Orange. But let's take a look at the menu. Oh look, there it is. Racer's Orange. Racer's Orange? What the heck is Racer's Orange? This knockoff soda doesn't appear anywhere else in the game, and I'm confused why the Piantas here advertise that they have Princess Orange, but if you look at the menu, it's nowhere to be found. That's the equivalent of advertising Coke products on the outside of a restaurant, and when you walk in, there's only signature select cola. Like, what the heck? The last thing I have to say about the deli counter takes place on the original map, and we're yet again gonna look at the menu. On the menu, we can find several burgers and drinks. One of them in particular stands out to me. Green mushroom burger and green mushroom juice. While it isn't technically wrong, nobody calls one-ups green mushrooms, and I think it's just kind of... Kind of strange. All right, the last thing I have to show you is a little bit further up the track. If we take the camera up to the glider ramp and then put it in the floor, there's a really strange room that's kind of freaky. It's incredibly unusual for an area that you can't see in the game to be textured. Nowhere else in the track is it textured on the inside like this. It's really strange and eerie. And I'd love to hear your theories on why this room even exists in the comments below. Anywho, that's pretty much everything. And uh, make sure you like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. You're welcome.